Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to the very first day of Vlogmas! I can't believe I'm saying this. I was staying in bed last night and I randomly decided that I would be doing Vlogmas this year. I wasn't sure at first because I do work five days a week so it's kind of like difficult to combine my YouTube videos to begin with and now I'm pushing myself to do seven videos a week for the upcoming 24 days but I did Vlogmas last year and it was so rewarding and it just inspires me as well with makeup and everything. So we're just doing it again this year. I'm going to try my best to upload a video every single day up until December 24th, which is Christmas Eve. I have my Charlotte Tilbury Christmas talking in the back because we are going to be kicking off Vlogmas with a Charlotte Tilbury video and not just a regular Charlotte Tilbury video. We are going to be looking at all my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I'm going to be showing you every single one I have in my collection. I'm going to apply them on the lips, show you what they look like, tell you if I would recommend them. They're one of my favorite lipsticks formulas and I actually did a video similar to this during vlogmas last year. I had quite a different collection back then so I thought it would be nice and refreshing to sort of like do an updated one. So if you're new here then hi welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you found it. I upload video videos every single week and I have a vlogmas every single day and I would love it if you subscribe. But for now if you want to see my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick collection then please keep watching. <laughs> So I'm going to be starting off with the regular bullet lipsticks, which I have 13 off, and then I have two Hyaluronic Happy Kisses and one Superstar Lips at the end to share. So I'm going to try to show you guys them in order from lightest to deepest, but some of these are quite close in depth, so I'm just going to like guess which one is the lightest. But let's get started with the first one. This one I have right here is called Bitch Perfect, and this is one of the newer additions to my collections. It's really pretty, sort of like a light peachy nude. So this is what Bitch Perfect looks like. Now I'm going to be applying all of these without a lip liner. Typically I would wear this shade with a liner, but I can wear it on its own and I want to show you like the lipsticks true to color. So let's apply this one to the lips. So this is what the shade Bitch Perfect looks like on its own and looking at it like this, I definitely can tell why I always wear a liner with this. I just feel like it is a little bit too light for my liking to wear on its own. So I usually go in with like a deeper lip liner, Iconic Nude, Pill Talk, Velvet Sand from Vive maybe is also really pretty just to like deepen it up a tiny bit. But the shade itself is really beautiful and it is just a gorgeous peachy nude that goes with like so many eye looks. So this is the first one. The next one here is Penelope Pink and Penelope Penelope Pink is also a beautiful shade. It's sort of similar to Bitch Perfect, but I feel like this has a bit more brown to it. It really goes with a lot of eye looks as well. And ever since I've gotten Bitch Perfect, I've kind of like forgotten about this one, which is really bad because this used to be like my favorite lipstick ever. I used to wear this every day when I got this. I just thought it looked so beautiful. So let me show you what it looks like. I have a feeling that Penelope Pink is actually lighter than Bitch Perfect. So I already messed up with the first two lipsticks, but it's fine. This is what Penelope Pink looks like. It's also just like that beautiful like brownie peach nude. This is definitely one that I always wear with a lip liner as well. I cannot remember wearing this without one. And I just feel like a lip liner suits my personal preferences a bit more with these types of like lighter lip shades. I do really like them, but usually with a lip liner. So that is Penelope Pink. I really need to wear this one more often. Then and right here we have Angel Alessandra and Angel Alessandra is also a really pretty shade for the longest time I was like quite scared of this shade it looks quite orange in the lipstick so I really wasn't sure about how I was personally going to like this but then I got this as a free gift with purchase one time when I placed an order and I was like that is one beautiful lipstick and I'm so glad I have it in my collection now it's not the one I get the most use out of but it is a beautiful shade and I feel like with the pillow talk lip liner this is really pretty as well it's Sort of like adds in a bit more of that pink but I can't totally wear this one on its own as well.
Can you tell I love my peachy shades? I just feel like this is such a beautiful one as well. This one is definitely a bit deeper than Penelope Pink, so I can wear this one on its own without a lip liner, which is nice as well. But I feel like this is just like such a fresh lip color that goes with a lot of looks as well. We have then arrived at Super Cindy, and Super Cindy is actually in the Matte Revolution formula. And I feel like this is a very underrated lipstick, even in my collection. It is a beautiful sort of like peachy pink as well, but for some reason I never hear anyone talk about this but this is truly a beautiful shade I feel like it's a bit similar to Angel Alessandra but it is in the matte revolution shade so it sort of like gives a blotted effect on the lips which I think is really pretty So this is what Super Cindy looks like and you can immediately tell the difference between the matte revolution and the kissing ones. These are just a little bit more matte, a little bit more of that blotted effect like I just said, but they're definitely not dry at all. I find the Charlotte Tilbury matte revolution lipstick formula to be one of the most comfortable matte lipstick formulas I have tried personally. For instance, if I compare it to the Vive one, I love those lipsticks as well, but they're a bit more dry and they feel more matte on the lips, whereas these ones do give you that matte look. They're just not as dry, so that's why I really enjoy this. And again, Super Cindy is more of that peachy shade. We'll get into the pinks in a little bit. I love my pink lipsticks as well, but for some reason, the lightest ones I have in my collection are all sort of like peachy toned, but this is a beautiful one. And again, I feel like quite underrated. We then have Runway Royalty. For some reason, I always have a hard time pronouncing that, but Runway Royalty is such a beautiful lipstick. I think it might be my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that I've tried this year. This is just super, super pretty. I love wearing this so much. It is also in the Kissing Formula, so very creamy. So now I just need to show you what this looks like on the lips. So this is what Runway Royalty looks like. I don't know why I have such a hard time pronouncing this, but I mean, it's fine. This is just such a beautiful lipstick. I feel like, like I said, it's a perfect mix between a pink and a brown. Looks super natural on the lips, sort of that My Lips But Better shade. Gorgeous glow to it as well. My lips are having a hard time wiping all of these lipsticks off, but we have arrived at one of the more pinky toned lipsticks, and this is Miss Kensington. And again, Miss Kensington is more of that pinky shade. So now that I have applied it, it is definitely a lot lighter than I thought it was in my imagination. I feel like I should have probably showed this earlier as well. I feel like either if you want this to show up better, you should wear a liner with it or maybe try a shade that is a bit deeper because as I'm seeing it right now, it is beautiful, but it really is that sort of like your lips with better shade, but I feel like it isn't as noticeable as run rate royalty so looking at it like this it's definitely not my favorite in my collection i also don't mind it i just feel like it is a bit average we then have arrived at the super famous pillow talk i think you guys have all seen this by now this is such a classic in the charlotte Tilbury lipstick collection i feel like this is the one shade that everyone is looking for when they first try out the charlotte Tilbury lipstick pillow talk is definitely beautiful and i want to show you guys what it looks like So I love how the shade Pillow Talk looks like. It's the perfect pink where it's not too pink. It is just very natural pink. It feels very soft on the lips. This is also the Matte Revolution formula, but still, it just feels so soft and smooth on the lips. I feel like it looks pretty. It would go with pretty much every single look. And I just feel like this is a shade that so many people cannot go wrong with. If you have a deeper skin tone, there's also a Pillow Talk Medium and even a Pillow Talk Intense. So there really is a Pillow Talk shade for everyone. And it is just one of my favorite shades as well. It's such a beautiful everyday shade. So that is the shade Pillow Talk. We then have Famously Pink. And Famously Pink was one of the loyalty exclusive shades that you could only get if you were a loyal member on the Charlotte Tilbury website. But it's a beautiful shade. It sort of reminds me a little bit of Pillow Talk. Also, I have to show you the embossing of the lipstick. How incredibly cute do these little lips look. I just feel like this is such a beautiful shade as well. It is a bit more of a coral shade than Pillow Talk, but it is stunning. So let me show you what it looks like.
As you can see, it is a bit more vibrant and fresher than Pillow Talk. I feel like with Pillow Talk, it sort of like looks like your own lip color, but with Famously Pink, you can definitely tell a little bit more that you are wearing lipstick, but it is a beautiful shade. I love the glow that it gives. This is the kissing formula, and I just feel like this is a perfect shade for spring and summertime as well. I don't wear this one as much in the fall and winter time, as I do tend to reach for a bit more deeper shades and maybe a bit more like warm tone shade, but this one is a beautiful like bright fresh color for the springtime. Then the Duchess. This is a very pink shade and I love wearing this. When I wear this in videos or even like in everyday life, I get compliments on my lipstick because this is just such a pretty pink shade. It is like the perfect amount of pink and I'm just going to show you what it looks like because as you can probably tell, I'm not the best at explaining these lip colors. I'm trying my best to tell you what they look like, but I feel like just seeing it on my lips is more helpful. So let's apply this one as well. So this is Famously Pink. It definitely does not go with the top I'm wearing right now. It is a beautiful shade. As you can see, it's quite more of like a vibrant pink. I mean, with this one, you can see you're wearing a pink lipstick, but it's not as distracting as a very bright pink shade. So that is why I love wearing this. It still sort of looks a bit natural, even though you're wearing pink. So that is the Duchess. I definitely need to coat my lips with layers of lip oil after this video because we're definitely having quite a hard time. But we have a few more lipsticks to go through. The next one being Glowing Gen. And this is a really pretty sort of like muted red shade. I feel like this one is quite underrated as well, but it's stunning for the fall time. It's a beautiful red shade. It's not like you're wearing a bright lipstick like my top. It is just very much a sort of like muted brown red, if that makes sense. So let's just apply this one as well. How stunning is this shade Glowing Gen? This is also in the creamy formula, so it's very nice on the lips. And I just feel like this shade is so stunning for the fall and winter time. So this is definitely one of my favorites as well. So we have now made it to the lipstick that's probably going to match my top the most. And this is 1975 Red. And 1975 Red is not just red. It is one of the most vibrant lipsticks you will probably see in your life. It is just so pretty, but I've never really worn it outside. I only tried it on one time. And then I was like, this is very bright. So if you love a bright lipstick, you're probably going to love this. If you don't love a bright lipstick as much, you're probably going to be scared of this one. So let's just show you what it looks like. This one is incredibly hard to apply without a lip liner, but I tried my best and this is what it looks like. I'm looking at the viewfinder and I can't not be distracted by how bright this looks. So this is definitely one that you should only buy if you're like comfortable with wearing these types of red shades. I think it's really cool. I just never really have the right occasion to wear this to. Maybe next year in the summertime, it will be really pretty. I feel like half of my face is now covered in a red lipstick. I tried to wipe it off as best as I could, but we have another red lipstick to apply right now. And this one is called Red Carpet Red. So this is what it looks like. It is definitely a bit deeper than the one I just showed you. So let's see what this looks like. So this is what Red Carpet Red looks like. And this is definitely more of that blue toned red, whereas the previous one I just showed you in 1975 red was a lot more of that orange toned red. So this is definitely one that I would personally prefer. It looks very messy right now because I'm applying so many lipsticks all at once and I'm also not wearing a lip liner with them. So it's really kind of a struggle. I would always wear a lipstick like this with a matching lip liner. But for now, I'm just going to show you the lipstick on its own because like I said, it is just more helpful. I have one more deep red red shade to show you and then I have the three and the other formula. So this one is Scarlet Spell and Scarlet Spell is the deepest shade that I have in my collection. It is just a really beautiful like deep red shade but even though this is very deep I wear this one quite a lot. So this is what Scarlet Spell looks like. It is just a beautiful blue toned red as well and I'm not even joking when I say 
My entire hands are covered in a red lipstick. I am always on filming this video and I'm just realizing that I forgot to show you the shade Dance Floor Princess that I have in my collection. I tried to find it downstairs in my bag but I can't really find it anywhere at the moment so it's probably somewhere in one of my bags but honestly I have no idea where. But now we have arrived at my superstar lips. I have one of this and then I have two of the Hyaluronic Happy Kiss. This is in the shade Princess Kiss and this shade is actually not my favorite on me. I wore it in a recent video and I thought it looked decent but compared to all of the other lipsticks that I have for some reason I do not like this shade as much on me personally so let's show you what it looks like So this is what it looks like. It sort of feels like a gloss in a lipstick form, kind of like the ones from Tarte, the Juicy Lips. It feels really nice, but I just feel like the shade is a bit too light for my liking for this type of formula. I would prefer this to have a bit more of a tint to it, so that is why I don't wear this one as much. But it is a beautiful light pink lipstick. We have made it to the second to last lip product and this is the Hyaluronic Happy Kiss in the shade Pillow Talk. Even though this is Pillow Talk, it is definitely much more of a different shade than the normal lipstick in Pillow Talk. So keep that in mind if you want to get this one. I feel like this one is a lot deeper than the original Pillow Talk lipstick. After applying so many lip products, my lips are definitely very happy with applying this to the lips. It has been a while since I've worn this, and now that I have it on my lips, I'm realizing how nice this feels. It just feels so nice to have on the lips. I also feel like it is a beautiful shade. And then the very last lipstick for this video is the Hyaluronic Happy Kiss in the shade Happy Love. This is a bit deeper than Pillow Talk, but it is the same formula. So this is what Happy Love looks like. Again, it is a bit deeper than Pillow Talk. I feel like I do prefer the Pillow Talk shade, but this one is super pretty as well. Okay, everyone, this was it for my entire Charlotte Tilbury lipstick collection, maybe except the Danceful Princess one I can't find, but we're just going to forget about that one for now. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know what you thought of the lipstick that I tried on today. Some I definitely prefer over others. But overall, I really love all of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I feel like the formula is just really nice. So if you did enjoy this video, then I would absolutely love it if you gave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't miss any of my videos. All of these things would help me so much with my channel and I really appreciate it. But with that said, and thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you on my next video. Bye!